You have certainly seen it with your family or with your nieces and nephews. And yet, there are many hidden messages in red that may not have jumped out at you. If you have opened this video, it is because you are curious to know them. Sit back and enjoy the hidden messages in red that you may not have noticed. The story of Red is about Mei Li, a 13-year-old girl whose already messy early experiences as a teenager were accentuated by the appearance of the Red Panda in her life. Whenever Mei is embarrassed or has other strong emotions, the Red Panda appears and gives her a hard time. It's hard to live a normal life with that, especially since it results in very awkward situations at school and at home. But beyond its appearance as a funny movie, Red conveys very deep messages. Messages that are not so easy to perceive at first sight. First of all, the main message that the makers of the animated film want to convey through Red is that of self-acceptance. A message of great importance at a time when young girls and teenagers have difficulty accepting their bodies and find themselves confined by the dictates of today's society, which wants the perfect woman to be physically irreproachable. The film is as much about May learning to accept herself as she is, as it is about the very complicated relationship she has with her mother, due to the fact that she feels trapped between her need for transgression that she experiences with her girlfriends and Ming's respect for the seriousness of her family traditions. Released in March 2022, the Pixar Jewel evokes very delicate themes related to adolescence, including puberty and menstruation, through a surprising allegory, that of a huge red panda, all sprinkled with humor so that the film does not feel like a documentary. Indeed, the whole cartoon strives to destigmatize the joys of puberty through May, who finds herself torn between her passions and the rather too drastic demands and expectations of her mother, with whom she is very close, but with whom she has a lot of conflicts. Since that famous morning when she wakes up in the skin of a big giant panda, May panics. She does not recognize her body anymore, feels a mixture of negative feelings, notices that appearance of hair cannot stand her smell and has difficulty accepting her new body. A metaphor that refers to the day that all girls in the world must experience at that age, the arrival of menstruation. Moreover, her mother, alerted by the cries of her daughter, will think that she has just had her period for the first time. She grabbed a box of sanitary napkins and gave them to her. Although it is useless to specify it, the red panda which appears under the blow of the two strong emotions symbolizes the menstruation and the other changes of the adolescence. Very quickly, May will establish the link between the appearance of the panda and her emotional waves and will try to control herself by trying to remain calm in order to maintain her normal appearance. Something she will not manage to do necessarily. The red panda is here like a secret that will not be revealed until adulthood. Like this very critical period that all young girls must one day know and that by dint of overprotection have not been prepared psychologically to face it. As the film progresses, it depicts all the emotional roller coaster that May goes through as the film not only deals with menstruation and physical changes, but also with the intensity characteristic of this thankless age. It is therefore possible to consider that the impressive size of the red panda, but also its power, symbolizes the intensity of the emotions that arise during adolescence and that are unpredictable at times. Adolescence being especially a period of hormonal change and emotional upheaval, it pushes the teenager to come out of his gongs and to transform himself from a behavioral point of view until the entourage comes to not recognize him anymore. This does not only concern May, but also her friends who are the same age as her and who are going through the same period in their own way. They too need time and support to learn to accept themselves as they are, while trying to channel their overflow of emotion to become emotionally balanced adults. Moreover, May's relationship with her girlfriends is very much in evidence in the film. Together, they have an unconditional love and a great complicity that will help May to control and blur her emotional outbursts since she only has to think of them to suddenly feel calmer, accepted and serene. 
And if we look closely, we notice that the main conflicts that fuel May's anger and strong emotions are the conflicting relationships she has with her parents and especially with her mother, the latter being very protective as her own mother was with her. Although in red, the relationship between mother and daughter seems to be on the up and up, things won't stay that way. If the two women seem to get along at the beginning, it is only to emphasize the gap that will grow between them as soon as the panda arrives. Since this big upheaval in her life, May will start to feel distant from her mother as puberty and adolescence set in and she needs to be closer to her to better embrace this delicate period. Red explores generational trauma and the divide between mothers and daughters through this overprotective and overbearing mother who models on her daughter the same treatment she received as a young girl. This behavior towards May reflects an old trauma that she herself experienced with her own mother who disapproved of her marriage to her husband Jin. Ming's transformation into a giant red panda tested her bond with her mother and created a rift that never fully healed. So May relieves the same thing with her mother whose acceptance she wants the most. But things are not so easy for her and May doesn't feel really seen. Meng on her side doesn't know how to handle and accept the changes her daughter is going through. Hence the huge distancing that takes place between the two characters. The young teenager will finally break the cycle of trauma by confronting her mother as no woman in her family has done before. She will come to terms with the fact that her tumultuous relationship with her mother does have its upside. And although she will never again be the daughter Ming always dreamed of, she will do her best to remain close to her mother to some extent. So Mei will break free from the rules that have been strictly imposed on her by her family and sweeten the pot and integrate her passions and values into her identity. To be more concrete, she will shout out her love for pop music and assume who she really is, while searching for her role and purpose, other than being perfect in the eyes of her parents. Today's teenage girls are overnight thrust into a whole new world for them. A world filled with new challenges that require them to abruptly leave the familiar, comfortable and secure world of childhood for another, more raw, adult world, a totally unknown world that at first glance may seem hostile and threatening. But the challenge of this transition lies in the search and the quest for oneself, as well as the construction of a new identity through the acceptance of one's particularities and differences and the affirmation of oneself. So to achieve all this, May will decide to keep the red panda and accept herself as she is, while abandoning the idea of wanting to tame it. She then discovers what distinguishes her from the others without fearing it and without feeling monstrous. But to reach such a result, May will have to go through a long battle path. Because at the beginning, her reaction will be to want to punish herself permanently, a bit like a generation of Chinese women who have long tried to hide their defects. This is why women see the panda as a weakness and not as an asset. May will instinctively adopt the same behavior and do the same thing as her ancestors. The teenager will start to suffocate, to take on herself, to try to channel her emotions and to make the panda disappear from her life until she can't take it anymore and encouraged by her friends, will decide one day to keep her red panda and especially learn to appreciate it. Indeed, at the beginning, May was panicking about her transformation, but as time goes by, she becomes comfortable with the red panda and gains confidence about her body changes and growth. While on the other hand, Ming, her grandmother and her aunts were still living under the threat of the red panda and the emotional turmoil that came with it. May was finally at peace with her red panda by the end of the film. In addition to accepting herself as she is, this unusual teenage crisis will allow May to assert herself against the authority of her all-powerful mother. Fortunately, this will bear fruit because the mother will for once be self-critical and question her behavior towards her daughter. Until she was 13, she did what she could do to protect her little girl. But she forgot that the latter has grown up and that she must resign herself to accept this bitter reality. This moment of truth thus allows Ming to give a little latitude to Mei and to be more flexible, while granting her his confidence. 
And strangely enough, as soon as the mother and daughter were able to get past this complicated and delicate stage, there was no stopping them. Not to mention that grandmother Wu Li was also a big part of this reconciliation, as she was the buffer that stopped the bleeding in this stormy relationship. Without her and her great wisdom, the conflict between the two women might not have been resolved. While we're on the subject, have you ever wondered why the panda trait was only assigned to women? If you remember, we gave you some hints of the answer at the beginning of the video. In its original version, the little rat refers to the fact that as soon as you feel a little shame or anger, hence the color red, the panda pubs up. Red here is not only related to emotion, but it can also suggest the red of menstrual blood. The change that May's character experiences clearly evokes this great moment in the life of a young woman and this is what makes the film original, since it is unprecedented for an animated film to emphasize or even to have as its main theme this subject, still taboo for some. The film Red normalizes this natural phenomenon, one of the greatest challenges of our society today, in order to reduce the shame imposed on young girls. Not only does the film talk openly about it, but it also deals with all the psychological upheavals that menstruation entails, an aspect that no one talks about and which is nevertheless important. We can thus notice the evolution of the feelings that May has for her alter ego panda. At first, she feels very uncomfortable and eager to get rid of what she calls a curse. Then she will end up understanding that she will never be able to get rid of it and that she will live with it since she has become a woman. She will learn to make it her power and to transform this maddening panda into a force, something unique that she must cherish and welcome as a gift of life. Since menstruation is not all bad and when you think about it, it is through it that women can procreate. We also notice that even her mother, her grandmother and her aunts also endowed it with a red panda alter ego, that is to say menstruation, have done everything to hide it, too embarrassed to reveal it to the outside world. And since we're talking about a 2 meter tall panda, it's something impossible to hide. Do you understand the subtlety of the message conveyed? In short, the film suggests that menstruation should no longer be taboo or a subject of shame for women, but should be welcomed and above all accepted. The film Red therefore conveys several hidden messages suddenly embedded in allegorical images and mainly through the Red Panda. It teaches crucial lessons about independence, change, self-acceptance, all through a humorous style and a unique atmosphere. Now tell us in the comments what you think of these hidden messages in red and don't forget to subscribe and click here to watch another of our videos.